the longest of all videos. This time, the title card at the beginning reads, Diana, age 17. The first six minutes takes place during a night time as an unseen cameraman wanders around some kind of dark mansion, breathing very heavily. He slowly circles around the outside, until he finally goes outside. He enters one of the rooms on the first floor. The man with the baseball cap from the first video is sitting on the desk, scribbling some stuff down on a piece of paper. He ignores the cameraman. There is a red couch made of leather in the background, as well as a table with candles on it. Candles are only lights in the room. It then cuts to the interior of the car, driving down a dirt road. A young man who looks no older than 20 drives the car. An unseen man in the back seat holds the camera. In the front passenger seat is a girl who introduces herself to the camera as Diana. The one holding the camera points it at himself and reveals himself to be the bunny man from the first video, dressed more nicely and no longer wearing bunny ears. He smiles at the camera and waves. While the driver and Diana converse for a while, we still focus on bunny man. He starts mouthing some words through, trying to tell us something without having the others hear it. Meanwhile, the driver is flirting with Diana. We then cut to a point of surveillance camera in the room with the candles inside, but the candles are blown out. The room is lit only by an open window in the background. A man wearing a pig mask enters the room and starts setting microphones under the table and behind the couch. Our recording can then be heard of someone explaining how he sets up the microphones to hear the voices of the birthday boy and his girlfriend. The man in the pig mask moves the surveillance camera to focus it directly on the couch. The man looks out the window and immediately runs for the room as if something surprised him. After four minutes of staring at the couch in silence, audio picks up the driver, Diana, enter the room. The man's dialogue is barely audible most of the time, but the girl can be heard perfectly. They sit on the couch and spend about the next 11 minutes talking. The man says something about unintelligible to us, though his body language suggests he is asking if Diana feels sexy as he rubs his hand on the couch in a sexual manner. To which Diana replies, I feel real sexy. The girl converses about random topics, from shoe size to paintings to her favorite classes in school. Eventually, the man sticks his hand right up the girl's skirt and starts tickling her in her thigh. She laughs uproariously. Nearly falling off the couch, in involuntary disposition, the man ceases tickling her and professes his love towards her and speaks something that's incomprehensible to us. The video cuts to a red screen and then back to the viewpoint of the handheld camera. Bunny Man commandeers the camera, shirtless but wearing the bunny ears from breakfast pancakes. He points the camera at the girl lying on the ground. Her knees and elbows are tied together as her ankles and wrists, leaving her face to the floor and her anus up in the air. Her only bits of clothing were her bra and a pair of socks. The camera rotates 360 degrees around the crying girl. As the camera moves around the room, inside the window reveals a nighttime sky. We then focus on the girl's face. She is wearing a fake pig nose around her head. The bunny man futilely tells her to stop squealing like a pig. After this failed attempt, he spanks her angrily, yelling her to stop squealing. She starts to squeal and cry simultaneously. If you look in the ground, you can see the man's pig mask. With one of his hands down on his pants, and a digital camera on the other. After five minutes of squealing, and the bunny man laughing, the hooded man from the second video, the French girl from the first video, and the young man who tickled Diana earlier from the video entered the room. The young man from the earlier video approaches the girl with the same love for her, but none of the friendliness. He's completely nude and begins to rub her butt cheeks sexually, while lengthily explaining the reasons to justify his plans to kill her. He explains his love for her and desire to keep her in limbo to make sure that she never leaves while he has fun with her at the same time. 
At this point, he picks up a razor blade off the ground and starts aggressively cutting her butt cheeks with it multiple times until she bleeds violently. By this time, the man with the pig mask approaches. He pours a bucket of light green syrupy liquid on her anus. All the onlurkers sing happy birthday to the man who tickled her earlier. His name is Josh. When the syrup makes contact with the cuts on her skin, she begins to cry with severe pain. The bunny man sets the camera down and focuses on the girl. Everyone in the room begins licking blood and syrup off the girl, with the exception of the man in the pig mask and the hooded man. She keeps screaming. After five minutes of licking her bottom clean, Josh begins to drive a long, steel pipe way up her anus. She leaves it in for a couple seconds and immediately pulls it out. She begins licking the blood that runs down her legs. For a moment, everyone leaves her alone in the room with the camera still focused on her. After a gruesome 12 minutes of her crying and losing blood, she dies. Her corpse is shown for another two minutes. At the last few seconds, you can see a man and a pig mask walk up to the window and look at her body and then walk back the way they can. The video ends like the Amy H20 video. The side of the video player has doctored the shot of the girl in the video. Thank you.